Hello, welcome to Read Aloud EDU. We are going to read Caillou Learns to Recycle. This is an ecology club book. Earth Day is near. Let's learn about recycling. <clears throat> it was snack time at daycare. Caillou and Leo were cleaning up when they noticed a new bin in the corner. See this new bin? What's that for? And what are those pictures? Leo wondered. I don't know. Let's ask Ms. Martin, Caillou suggested. Ms. Martin, is that a new garbage can? Leo asked. No. It's a recycling bin, she replied. What's recycling, Caillou asked. I'm glad you asked, Caillou. That's the theme for today. Let's all sit down so we can talk about recycling. When we're finished with something and we throw it in the garbage can, where does it go? What do you think? To a big stinky pile of garbage, Leo exclaimed. That's right, and that garbage never gets used again. It just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Recycling means using something more than once. When we put a bottle into the recycling bin, it goes to a factory where it's made into a brand new bottle. So it gets used again, Caillou said. Yes, Ms. Martin said, and again, and again, and again, and again, everyone joined in. Now, I have something amazing to show you, Ms. Martin said, and left the room. What do you think is a good idea? To recycle or to just throw it into the big pile that keeps growing and growing? I think recycling. Let's see what Ms. Martin's doing. <gasps> what do you think it is? Caillou whispered to Leo. Leo shrugged his shoulders. Ta-da! Ms. Martin rode in on her scooter, wearing a green tracksuit and waving rolls of toilet paper. The children burst out laughing. Caillou asked, what's so special about toilet paper? Ms. Martin pointed to some arrows on the wrapped toilet paper. The arrows tell me that this toilet paper was made from recycled paper, like old newspapers and cardboard boxes. Let's take a look at that symbol. See it? Maybe you'll start noticing that symbol on things in your home. Caillou noticed something. That's like the arrows you drew. Yes, Caillou, Ms. Martin said, this is the recycling symbol. Next, Ms. Martin showed them a glass jar with the same arrows on it. See, the arrows. This jar is made of glass from recycled juice and pop bottles. See the arrows? So just like the paper, this glass can be used over and over and over, the class called out, laughing. Cans can be recycled too, Ms. Martin continued. The metal is melted down and made into new cans, paper clips, bicycles, or even scooters. Caillou was impressed. Your scooter is made from cans? That is amazing. I think that's amazing too. 
But the most amazing thing, Ms. Martin laughed, is my tracksuit. See? Her outfit. Caillou wasn't so sure. It looked like an ordinary tracksuit to him. When you put plastic bottles, like Leah's juice bottle, in the recycling bin, they can be made into new egg cartons, plant pots, yogurt containers, or even this tracksuit. Everyone agreed that really was amazing. Can you believe that old plastic containers were made into this cool tracksuit? That's pretty neat. Now, do you know what these pictures on our recycling bin mean? Asked Ms. Martin. That's to show us what to put in there. Glass, paper, oops, I lost my spot, and plastic, answered Caillou. Right, said Miss Martin. Plastic, like my juice bottle, exclaimed Leo. My bottle's going to get used again and again. Make sure you look for recycling bins. If there's one near you, make sure you use it. Ms. Martin had a t-shirt that was made from plastic bottles too. Who would like to help me put our recycling into the new bin? She asked. Caillou raised his hand. Me, please. All right, Caillou, you can wear this t-shirt and be my special recycling helper for the day. That sounds like a fun job. He's the recycling helper today. And this is the recycling t-shirt with that symbol. That is awesome. I hope you enjoyed reading this book and make sure you keep an eye out for that recycling symbol. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe.